Welcome, welcome back at any help at Cisco. In this example, we uh, have a diagram, and in this diagram, we know that AB is 3.7, uh, which is uh, the whole segment this AB. FC it's 1.9, which is this part of BC. DC the whole segment 3.4, and AD the whole segment 3.6, and we need to find the perimeter of the polygon. A, B, C, D. And the perimeter of this polygon is going to be the sum of its sides. So it's going to be A, B plus B, C plus D, C plus A, D. And you notice we know three sides here. We know uh, A, D, we know D, C, we know A, B. The only one we do not know it's B, C. We know just this part. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work in order to find BC and for that reason we're going to use this theorem that you see down here which says if two segments are tangent to a circle from the same point they are congruent very important theorem so the first thing I can say is this GC is 1.9 also because these two segments are congruent they represent the tangent from the point C to point F and point G. And therefore now I can go and try to find DG this segment because I know DC is equals DG plus GC. And if you take a look, DC it's 3.4. Uh, DG is the thing that we need to find out. And uh, GC we just identified as 1.9. So we just do one simple subtraction here. From 3.4, I'm going to subtract 1.9. And I get here 1.5. That is how much this segment is, 1.5. And this segment DG and the H are going to be congruent. They're going to have the same measure because uh, DG and the H are two tangent from point D to the circle and they are congruent based on again this theorem you see here. And now we can go and move and we want to find how much AH is and for that reason I'm going to look to DA or AD. The segment AD is the sum of AH, the one that I want to find out, and HD which we know is uh, 1.5. So AD is 3.6, AH we want to find out, and HD is 1.5 because it is congruent, it has the same measure with the EG we just did it before. So we'll subtract 1.5 from each side, then we're going to end up with an AH of 2.1, that will be 8H, and similar now we know AE will be congruent to AH. Uh, these two segments represent two tangent from point A, and they are congruent. So this one is also 2.1 AE. And now we have to find uh, EB. For that reason, I'm going to write a similar relation. But now I'm going to look to segment AB. Segment AB is the sum of AE, so segment AE, and EB and uh, AB it's 3.7 AE is 2.1 it was equal with AH so we can find EB just by subtracting 2.1 from 3.7 and EB will be uh, 1.6 that is how long the last segment here is 1.6 and B F will be 1.6. But now having B F and F C, we can find B C because B C is nothing else than B F plus F C, and that will be um, 1.6 plus 1.9 which is going to be 
0.5. This is how much BC is. And now we can go back here and replace uh, AB with 3.7, which we know it from the beginning. BC, we just find out 3.5. Uh, DC, we knew it from the beginning, 3.4. And the last one, AD, again, we knew it from the beginning, 3.6. So we're going to have to add these guys. And we're going to have the perimeter of the polygon. In this case, is a quadrilateral, A, B, C, D. And that will be... Fourteen point two. That is how much is the perimeter of the polygon A, B, C, D. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and C square for more help. Thank you.